Chris Stevenson, interior coach of the QMI agency here in Ufa, Russia. And Terry, right now the rink is quiet, but it was uh, really bumping earlier today when uh, Canada and Russia squared off. Uh, Canada comes out with a 4-1 to victory over the Russians to go 4-0 in the preliminary uh, portion of the World Junior Championship this year. And did you see this coming, uh, a 4-0 record moving on to the medal round now? Well, I'm not surprised by it. I mean, you know, Canada was one of the uh, favorites to win a gold medal uh, at this tournament, Chris, and I think to do that they would have to go 4-0 in the round robin. I'm not saying Russia still shouldn't be thought of in that class because I think they should be, and probably, uh, you know, now the Swedes and uh, the Americans too, I think, to an extent. But... The thing that they're, they're doing here is what you want to do at every role junior, and that is get better every day, every right. game. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's hard to believe kind of that the team that beat Russia the way they did tonight, top to bottom, was the same one that, uh, you know, allowed three goals against Germany last week in the uh, first game of the, of the tournament. So, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, a lot of things coming together. The players who are supposed to be big-name players are here, are, are doing that. The grinders are being the grinders. Defensemen doing what they're doing. Malcolm Subban's doing what he's supposed to be doing in a goal, so no, not surprised. Yeah, and I think the uh, coach, too, deserves his yeah. fair share of credit. Steve Spott, from the beginning, was adamant that that uh, Malcolm Subban was going to be his player. Um, he obviously had a plan to try and uh, thwart any kind of talk about goaltending or having a goaltending controversy around his team, so his decision to, to come out uh, steadfastly behind Subban from the beginning, I think, was a, was a sound move. And mm -hmm. then he juggles the lines today, uh, dropping Huberto down and moving... Uh, Drew in up to the to the first line, and that paid off too. Drew in was great with, right. with Shifley and, and Nugent Hopkins. Yeah, I still can't believe what this kid's doing as an underager. I mean, you play in the top line, you're playing with the guy who uh, had 52 points for the Edmonton Oilers last year, and yeah. you haven't even been drafted yet. And to me, that's uh, that's some amazing hockey with the pressure there is at this international stage. And like you said off the top, the way this rink was jumping tonight, it was, yeah. it was pretty crazy. And here you have Duran out there handling the puck like uh, ho hum. This is just like back in the queue and the way he dominates there. Scored a nice there. goal. Scored yeah. a beautiful goal in the wraparound backhand. And he's, uh, he's uh, you know, the one thing they say about this tournament, Chris, is that if you're a draft prospect, you really can't hurt yourself here because the, the scouts know it's a 19 year old tournament. Right. But what you can do is when you do well against 19 year olds, your stock can go up. And that's what Duran's doing. Yeah, I think, you know, if you looked at it coming into this with Nathan McKinnon and, and uh, Seth Jones from the Americans as kind of being the other guys being talked about as the number one picks. I mean, mm -hmm. it's been, Duran's been so much the better player yeah. than, than uh, those two guys so far in terms of the impact he's had for his team. Uh, give us a quick little look ahead now, what uh, lies ahead in terms of the schedule and who Canada's going to play. Well, two days off now, uh, well deserved. They'll take all of Tuesday off, all of New Year's Day off, and uh, you know practice Wednesday in preparation for the semi. And they will face the Americans or the Czechs in that semi on uh, Thursday night. So, you know, it's one of those things now where it doesn't matter who they play. They know the Americans much better, of course. Um, I think the Americans will probably give them a harder game if they get them. But the Czechs are dangerous as well. And, yeah. uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter who they play. We have to point out that the way the Canada's playing right now, you know, it might not matter who they get at all yep. to, to anybody in the building or themselves uh, the steamroll them but but we'll see a lot of the hockey still left to be played and uh, but the 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 thing is now after four games in the uh, preliminary round they've set themselves up very nicely good so uh, Canada's next action will be uh, on Thursday quarter for final games are on uh, Wednesday and uh, you can keep stay on top of everything that's happening by visiting uh, all of the Suns uh, websites across the country uh, for Terry Koshin, I'm Chris Stevenson for the QMI Agency in Yufa, Russia.